Hey, okay, hi, it's working. It's me, Pasu Udo, back at it again with another unedited video. This is gonna be like my takeaways of this book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team. So the company I work with, we do a book of the month every month and I'm trying to get on this book thing, reading a lot of books because um, when I started reading books two years ago, it really just opened and expanded my mind and this book, the five dysfunctions of a team is so good. Like if you work in any kind of team setting, whether it's a sports team, uh, a family, you know, if you work with family and you want your family to, to work better together, if you have a team at work, if you, I don't know, if you're just, if you're working with a team of people in any capacity, all of you need to read this book. Now I love, um, the format of this book because um, they wrote it in a very storytelling type of way rather than just telling you point one do this point two do this there's actually a story so you can actually like see and visualize how the information in this book plays out in real life so it tells the story of this lady um who is the new director of a team and they're not they're not really communicating and so she makes them stop working and they were all very resistant to what we're gonna spend like two days and not work and not make money what but she makes them like stop and go on a retreat and start working on the dysfunctions of a team and so my biggest takeaway wow <laughs> i was using like my nares and oh my gosh why would why would i why is this in my book maybe i was trying to use it as a bookmark or something that's how weird i am so my favorite thing about this book is this diagram this diagram this is and the awesome thing about this book is you know how you read books and you don't remember what the book was about or you, you know what i mean this book you'll remember it you'll remember it and all you need to see is this image of a triangle and it will remind you of everything you need to know okay all you need is this image Be because the book is in story format all you need is this like visual reminder and you remember everything and so it talks about the things that a team needs to to really be a team that works together um teamwork makes the dream work and i really believe in that um and i'm not just gonna say number one is trust number two conflict because you're not gonna really get it until you actually read the book but my favorite my favorite aspect of it is the conflict so most people are afraid of conflict um and most people have too much ego as well yeah my favorite part is the conflict and the ego so when it comes to conflict for a team there needs to be constant conflict. Like there needs to be conflict all the time. So what happens when there's conflict, right? Number one, when there's conflict, it means that two people are being honest about what they really feel, okay? We're not robots, we're humans, and we're not gonna, we're not gonna go gung-ho on a goal if there's something, if there's resistance we feel inside about it. So when there's conflict, it means that people are being honest and you hash it out and you work it out. And once you're done with the conflict, you now have trust, right? Like, have you ever like um, been with somebody that you didn't really know them or, you're, or you've seen them, but you, you weren't really friends and then you go through something together, like you go on a trip together or like you just go through this horrible experience in class together or you go through something together and now this person who was just a stranger to you now you feel really close to them that is the power of conflict you're open you're honest you're sharing a vulnerable side of you and exposing it and the other person is exposing themselves as well and you work it out and the fact that you you could expose something that's vulnerable about you to somebody else and in the end have a better result for it it builds trust and a team needs trust to thrive so that was one of my favorite things and now i address conflict as much as possible if i feel like we're not on the same page i 
try to encourage the conflict, like bring it out, like tell me you disagree, tell me you're uneasy about something. Um, I always try to address it now because it just makes things move faster and easier and it makes you trust the other person more and it makes people trust me more than if we try to be cordial and just avoid the situation. And then the other thing is ego, which is a huge thing in organizations, okay? Um, especially um, like W2 type of things, like you're an employee and there's you know trash on the ground and you're just thinking, well, it's not my trash. I did my job. That's ego, right? If if a if a group of people are team oriented, if there's trash on the ground, you're gonna pick it up because you know it's for the good of the team. So those are my two biggest takeaways: the ego thing, the conflict thing, and those two things alone will definitely improve uh, teamwork. But let's read this book. You gotta read this book. Ever since our team read this book. I feel like we're on a team. Like, I feel closer to everyone on my on my team that I work with. I feel like we're moving as a unit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, like we can go someplace, and you feel like you're rolling in deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, is you could go someplace and you're with a group of people, but you just feel like one person in that group. Or you could go someplace, put on your sunglasses feel like you're rolling in deep with your boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't mess with us. What you thinking? You can't mess with us. That's what it, that's what it feels like now after reading this book. Oh, we don't even do it. We don't even do everything in this book right. So this is a phenomenal book. Highly, highly recommend it. Like, you have to read it this year. You have to. If you work on a team in any capacity, you have to read this book book this year and implement the things that you learn all right so that's it let me know if you like these book summaries because i'm reading at least one book a month so i'm gonna be posting more of these so let me know if you want more then i'll read more and make more until next time guys thank you for watching much love much luck peace out